Hey, what's up everybody? It's me, David, aka David, and I'm back with another YouTube video. So before the video even begins, how's everybody doing? This coronavirus thing is kind of getting serious, kind of getting real, kind of getting scary. I hope that everybody is okay and safe during this time of crisis and of this pandemic. Stay safe, stay clean, wash your hands, don't be next to people, and we gonna be Gucci. I wanted to do a quick skincare routine video, like morning, I guess, my morning routine. It's just like what I do every morning when I get ready. It's not really a long process, it's really a easy like short process because i've always had just like really smooth not oily at all skin i really don't get acne that much but you can see where there's like places where i've gotten acne but i'm starting to get moles too i am african-american so beauty marks and moles are kind of like a thing that we get also it's kind of inspiration from my previous high school teacher who has just made a youtube channel and she does like skincare and stuff i've seen her do it and i kind of wanted to do mine i'm not gonna say that this is gonna work for everybody but this is what works for me first i put this bandana on because my hairline is messed up and i don't want y'all to see it first you want to make sure that you have some warm water. You want to make sure you use warm water and not cold water because cold water closes your pores. So warm water opens it up. You clean it, take some warm water. This is actually going to be really hard to do. When you have water all over your face like so, I use this deep clarifying exfoliating scrub cleanse. Now this is Equate Beauty. If you don't know what Equate Beauty is, Walmart. And this is, it's really good. I've used this for over over a year now and this is the result of my skin. Like I've used this every single morning. It's just an exfoliating scrub, deep action, cool and refreshing, and it's paraben free oil. I usually put just like that much on there. Just uh, that much, not much, cause it, once you scrub it, and it's like um, you can feel it working. This is what we have so far. It's just a cleaning process. I usually scrub for like 30 seconds all over my face. Your pillows are the dirtiest thing. All the oil from your face and all the oil from your skin and stuff and your hair and all of that gets on your pillows. Sleeping, that's why it's important to change your pillowcases often and your sheets because if you sleep on the same oil and the dirt that's on your pillows from your face from the day, you know, your hard working day. Now that I scrubbed, you take the warm water. This is gonna be really hard and you rinse. After you do that, you wanna make sure that you have a all white towel. Now, people love to dry their faces off with colored towels and rags and stuff like that, but that's so wrong. You need to make sure that you get cloth white ones. The reason you want white is because if you was to do this with your face and it was like brown or black or blue or green, the dye from that traps into your skin and that can create really bad acne problems and people don't really understand that until it's too late and they have like bad acne. So make sure whenever you're doing anything dealing with your face, you use white towel, white towels only. What I I usually do is like kind of swipe my forehead a little bit because the forehead for me is the area that kind of traps the most oil. I also scratch like over here to my sideburns because for some reason my skin, I kind of get like dry skin over here. So I have to make sure I get all of this off of certain areas like my forehead and over here so it doesn't like oil up really bad. This is what it looks like after. It's just a clean face. It's a bare face, a clean face. It's so smooth. Oh my God, I wish you guys could touch it, touch it. Okay. Next, this is something that I just recently started doing. So this is a cordless face defender so if you don't know what this is this basically helps with like enlarged pores it helps close those and it helps create like a smooth surface on your skin so you're supposed to close this off with cold water to close your pores but I couldn't do that so I just use the same warm water but tip make sure you do cold water because it'll 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 help so much better so what I do with this is see it comes with the little pad it's, it's kind of like silicone ish so you kind of can just take it and circle it around I'm sorry I thought I was showing y'all but I wasn't so you could take it and circle it around and yeah so I just put it okay sometimes you know there'd be too much so you might want to wipe it off a little bit after that usually what I do is just take my hands and I'll kind of like massage my face because you kind of like you have to massage it in there After you massage your face, you'll feel that like your face is so much like more like you can like, I don't know how to explain it. I forget what it's called, but um, your face is more like free. You have more movement. Like if you don't really massage your face, it kind of is like stuck because you've been asleep for all these hours and you wake up and your face is kind of like stuck. Last but not least, a Vaseline <laughs> or petroleum jelly, whichever fits the book. I use this because it's a really good way to trap everything. It's a really good moisturizer. So I use this as a moisturizer. This as a moisturizer, it's amazing. 
amazing. If you put too much Vaseline on there, obviously it will get oily and greasy, but if you put just enough on there, I'll take about this much on my finger and then I'll wipe that up on my forehead and around here, starting from your sideburn over like that. And then I'll take about this much and then I'll put it on my hand and do like this. And I'll wipe it all over. It feels so good. I've used quite a few things as a moisturizer, but this, I can say, as a moisturizer, it works the best. After you um moisturize everything, you should notice that your skin will have like a slight glow to it. Like you can slightly see the coating of that on there. And that's what you want. Ultimately, at the end of your skincare routine, you want your skin to be glowing. You want your skin to be looking flawless. You want your skin to look like if you just touch it, it's gonna be so smooth. And if you come touch my skin right now, it's smooth. <laughs> um, So that's all, literally that works for me. This helps me prevent acne. Also, Petroleum jelly is really good for other things. Like it, it protects you from the sun. I'm not saying that you can replace this in the summertime as a damn sunscreen, but um, putting on a coating of this of your on your face protects your skin from like peeling in the you know in the summertime. Skin can peel bad, <laughs> so it helps your skin in the winter time too. It's just overall, it's really good. If you're looking for anything new to moisturize and you're like, I don't want to put any harmful chemicals on my face, I guarantee that if you use petroleum jelly or Vaseline as a moisturizer, then you'll see results and different changes in your skincare routine. Again, this is from Walmart because the Equate Beauty, so it's cheap. It's literally, it was like some cents, I think. All of this is accessible. Again, I have the Equate Beauty, which you can get from Walmart. This is what I use. The This is as a moisturizer. And then this pore, this is called Mali. I don't really know what that is. I really can't even remember where I got this from. So that was my three minute morning skincare routine. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like. If you're new on here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also, don't forget to drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see in the next video. Also, if you guys want a um, nightly routine, I'll show you that too. Yeah, I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.